Second rank, Denver. Number 20, Colorado College, coming to you from World Arena in Colorado Springs, home to Tiger Hockey. Third most played rivalry, college hockey history. The last five games, though, but even two, two, and one. Head to head, CC has the advantage over DU. 17, eight, and three at the World Arena. Worst loss for DU, Jim, since 1997. How about that? They have the rivalry on the road. That's got to be a tough one. Oh, yeah, and it was also against CC back in 97. And speaking with Drew Shore, some of the players told us, boy. Knocked in! And over the goal for CC! It's a great start for the home team. Archie Skelbeck, the freshman. No, oh, Archie, you can see the Tigers getting in on that four check. They got that guy down below McDermott. He's a defenseman. He comes in, he plays the puck, he goes hard to the net. Nobody from DU, there's a missed check on the boards. He keeps his feet moving, he walks himself to the front of the net, gets that little rebound, no control. Archie Skelbeck able to step in there, finds the puck and the goaltender off his pipe. Not able to get back on it, and a nice start for the CC Tigers. Eamon McDermott. Along with Tyler Johnson, get assists on the Skalbeck tally. CC on the attack again. Schultz set it up from behind. Shot score again. Nick Deneen. It's Raposi, and it's 2 nothing Tigers Jim. Oh, again, it's that four check. You can see two guys down low. A good job by Schwartz getting in there. He comes in, plays the body, able to get that puck, and he just turns around. With bad coverage by the DU Pioneers, though. Too many guys just standing there looking around, not getting sticks. DU trying to create short side puck loose in front, and sent in for a goal. Just what they needed. Donovan was creating, Shore was finishing, and the Pioneers are on the board. Oh, and that's a big, big play right there. You get that 2-0, two, two that's a tough lead, no doubt, in, in any hockey game, but DU doing a great job of battling down low. You can see CC look, almost look tired a little bit, reaching around, not moving their feet, not grabbing, and they, and they pay for it. McDermott doesn't do a great job of playing the body, pinning his guy. You see three CZ defensemen and the winger right down there low, and Shore does a nice job just looking for that rebound. Howe's not able to handle it. He steps up and into that uh, rebound and, and puts it in. Oh, Lowry doing a great job as a captain, stepping up, getting a huge hit, getting back on that penalty kill into the corner, moving his feet, and he's able to draw that penalty. But he makes a huge play stepping up on that red line, excuse me, on that blue line to play the body. They have to get it down deep. And you can see right here, down the little battle, just guys hanging on to one another and a little clutch and grab. Anthony Maiani, the hold call there, Jim. He'll sit for the next two. The big hit by Lowry moments earlier to get this building going. One thing Denver's doing a really nice job of, of trying to bring it into the center of the ice, looking for those scoring opportunities. Even strength. Breakaway chance. Score! Crucial this game. Penalty's almost over. You can see Genzel knowing the guys are coming out of the box. Two guys standing right there. Krusiniski comes down, does an unbelievable job just getting himself right to that dot, right in that gray A opportunity, getting that puck and shooting it right over the shoulder of the goaltender in Murray. Made his dad Mike pretty proud, I think. Now, former Edmonton Oilers star here. Then things get rough after the whistle. Here comes some emotion.
things get physical. Remember these teams. Tyler Johnson gets by his man, Jet for two and one. Center of try, Schwartz. And then off the pegs, we've got a call. Bodies everywhere as things get physical in front of the BU net. And Murray is shaking up. We'll sort all that when we return to Colorado Springs. Sylvania game summary. Physical play for Crucial Miski. He's been everywhere tonight. Big hit from Ryan Lowry as well. And then Gensel saw Crucial Miski, the headman pass, and he made no mistake. Goes up high on Adam Murray. And the freshman with a big goal for CC. End of that last play. Jackson, a charging minor. A minute left, power play time. McDermott. Hard hit. Penalty coming against Zucker. There's the touch up. Jason Zucker very frustrated as he hammered into Eamon McDermott. And he's going to go. Well, McDermott turns his back a little bit here. You can see him coming up the boards a little bit, going to play that puck. And oh, that's a tough call. I mean, you have got to. They're going to talk about this one. Figure out whether or not it's going to be. Is it going to be a two minute? Is it going to be a five minute check from behind? Let's figure out which one it is because those are the ones you, you guys get hurt right there. Those are the tough ones. It's going to be a boarding call. Two minutes for boarding. And I think a fortunate boarding call right there. Remember that 9 2 game here early in the season? The fans were shouting, We want 10. We want 10. And they, they just love four right now. Power play goal, two man advantage. Chance to Dean. Shut down Murray. Puck loose behind the net. Schwartz went, two minutes, puck loose in front, in the net, just like that on a rebound. With just over 22 seconds, DU wants to make things interesting. Kyle Ostro, the captain. And there's the play that we were talking about. Talk about how important the faceoff is. Bring that faceoff back. To make sure it comes back to the defenseman, slide it over, get guys going in that. They're going to take a look at this one. The referees are going over. I could not see from my angle because I'm down here, but uh, whether it was a guy in the crease or not, but uh, they're going to take a look at it. Video review. Count the goal. Marastro, the captain, has got his 10th of the year, the senior from Calgary. Well, it wasn't much conversation in that. You can see how it going from side to side. Puck pops right out. Puck's definitely out of the crease. Oster does a nice job of coming through, following it, just going. Puck enters the net or enters the crease before the player does it into the back of the net. Yeah, Captain Joe Proud, a nice goal there. Big hit, final moments. Markowski got decks under 10 seconds. And now things get really rough. And plenty of unpleasantries exchanged between these two rivals. There's some emotion. You can feel it down oh, here. Oh, yeah. Even the conversation between players on the bench gets going a little bit here. <laughs> and it's interesting. Even with four seconds left in this hockey game, as you were referring to earlier, hey, you're going to play a second game tomorrow tonight or tomorrow night. So you get revenge. You want to keep that momentum going. And you want to make a statement. You want to try and, hey, Leave a little uh, little scar on it, whether or not you win or lose, but at least so they know you're going to be back again tomorrow night. Drew Shore and Rylan Schwartz were involved in the Fist of Cups there. Double minor call on Drew Shore for elbowing and roughing. Same for Schwartz, an elbow to rough, and two additional to Schwartz for unsportsmanlike. So here we go. Nick Shore set to take the face off. Head to head with Deneen. Four seconds left. Can DU win it for a quick shot? They cannot. Into the corner. And that'll do it. <laughs> Step one toward the goal pan trophy for the Tigers. They hang on. 3 2.